Well, blood supplies typically get low in the summer months, but need for blood can be greater than ever. A blood drive will be held tomorrow at St. Louis City Hall. It's a 10th annual event, or it's a 10th event, sponsored by City Comptroller Darlene Green. And we have Melanie Streeper, who is one of my good friends here also, <laughs> here to talk about the blood drive and everything that will be held in City Hall. Yeah. Welcome to the show, Mel. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's our 10th blood drive. Not right, the 10th annual. It's right. the 10th one. 10th yeah. one, yeah. We started doing it uh, twice a year starting in 2014. So we're doing them twice a year. Mm -hmm. um, we do it in February. We do it in August. The one we're doing this month is, is tomorrow from right. 11 to 3. And, uh, you know, we're just doing it to... Uh, raise awareness of blood donation, especially amongst African Americans. You right. know, that's, you know, it's called the Charles Drew Blood Drive. Mm -hmm. He was an African American physician. Um, he started the process of blood banking where, you know, blood is stored and, and yeah. put away and, and, and used for, you know, critical uh, patients and just patients that, you know, need blood donation. I actually needed blood um, when I had my tumor surgery. I had mm -hmm. to get blood. And I was glad that somebody donated because I was like, oh, yeah. yeah, this is what I need. But for people, I think people have a stigma of thinking that it hurts when you go donate blood. And it really doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a needle stick. It's a, right, right. It's right, a right. needle stick. And, you know, obviously, if you're afraid of needles, you know, you look away. Right. I mean, we've all been there. I, I can't even look at it. And I, you, you, know, you just look away. I but like usually, it. you know, the people that are there, they, they, they're getting their blood drawn. Mm -hmm. I walk around and take photos of them. Oh, and, girl. and they're mm -hmm. totally fine. No one's screaming or writhing in agony. So, <laughs> only time people will scream is if they can't get that vein. And then, like, exactly. And they exactly. go like, this all in your arm. It's exactly. Like, ah! Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, generally, I mean, they let me take photos or mm -hmm. interview them. And everyone's pretty, pretty nice about it. How important is this? I mean, it's hugely important. Um, you know, 38% of the population is eligible to donate. Less than 10% actually donate, and less than 5% of those are African Americans. Right. And we need blood. African Americans. Uh, what need is it blood. about like African American people that makes them not want to donate blood? I, I think part of it is fear. fear. Like you said, mm -hmm. fear, fear of the needles. You know, is this going to hurt? Um, you know, just just fear. Mm -hmm. it just there just needs to be more education in the yeah, African American community. Yeah, I think they don't community. understand uh, as, right. as much as is needed and how important it is. I don't think people really understand that until yeah. you have to go through that situation. Yeah, and then you need blood, and then you, mm -hmm. you're going to be thankful that someone right. was there to donate blood. So what types do you? All types, I know, but what are the uh, big? I know there's always one type <laughs> that you guys need. To get more yeah, done. all types, but uh, especially especially for African Americans, types O mm -hmm. and B, which 70 percent of African Americans are either type O or type B. So we yep. definitely need those. Type O is considered a universal blood type. It is, mm -hmm. yeah. So um, with the Comptroller's Office, how did, how did y'all get involved in this? You know, this was just something that they approached the Comptroller about, you know, back in 2008, mm -hmm. and she was on board with it, you know, to, to bring awareness to, you know, blood donation, especially mm -hmm. in the African American community. And we have a lot of city workers, uh, people at City Hall that they sign up, you know, I, mm -hmm. I post the flyers all around City Hall and try to promote it as best as I can, and, um, and, and they, they sign up and they, they look forward to our blood drives. And what people need to know, blood donations can help people suffering from all kinds of diseases. You have sickle cell anemia, you have cancer, you have heart disease. It can help all those people. Yeah, it can, it can help all those people. And, and that's, you know, certainly, you know, you may not think that you're helping uh, mm -hmm. someone, but just keep in mind that one pipe pint of blood could potentially help three people. Yes. And that's something that, that we learn um, through having these blood drives that, you know, we've collected nearly 200 pints of, pints of blood and that could potentially help 600 people. Wow, that's, so. a, that's a huge number. Yeah. Okay, well the blood drive will be held in City Hall room 208, 208 rather, from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. Walk-ins are accepted, but appointments are encouraged. And see, we have the right email address to ensure that everyone is seen quickly. The entire process takes you know, less than an hour. Yeah, yeah. And okay, let's see, we have your email address. It was... StreeperM at stlewis-mo.gov. There it is, yep, yep, right on the screen. Thank you so much, Melanie, Thank you, April. for being here, and thanks for being my friend. <laughs>